Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's move ahead with the 14th exercise. We will make a note of the answers in this Word document and the link is in the description below. The 14th exercise. Conjugue les verbes vivants au présent. So they've given us a list of verbs and we need to conjugate all these verbs in the present tense. We've already learned that in French there are three groups or three kinds of verbs. The first group is called as the ER verbs and the second group of verbs we call them as IR verbs and then there is RE verbs. So, looking at the last two letters of any verb in the infinitive form, we decide whether it belongs to ER, IR or the RE group. We've already learned how to conjugate ER verbs um, and within ER, we, we also know how to conjugate the GER verbs, CER and YER verbs also. Then there are a few irregular ER verbs as well. Um, same thing goes for IR also. There are regular IR verbs. We know how to conjugate them. And then there are uh, a lot of irregular IR verbs. So verbs like pouvoir, devoir, boulevard, venir, partir, sortir, etc. Although these verbs end in IR, they do not follow the IR verb pattern. And then we also know that there are some IR verbs which are conjugated exactly like the ER verbs. For example, ouvrir or couvrir, découvrir, etc. And then there, uh, there's RE verbs. Some of the RE verbs like défendre, attendre, répondre, etc. They follow a particular pattern. But maximum number of RE verbs like fair, uh, être, etc. do not follow any pattern. So let's go through the conjugation for all these verbs. The first one is crier. It's a regular ER verb. It means to shout. It, it doesn't mean to cry. Crier is to shout. The conjugation goes like this. We first have to write down all the subject pronouns and then we need to remove ER. After removing ER, we need to add letters like E, ES, E, ONS, EZ and ENT. This is the pattern that is followed for all the regular ER verbs. So, uh, let's do the first one. It goes like this. We say JE CRIE. I shout or I am shouting. You crie. You shout or you are shouting. Il, elle crie. He, she shouts or he, she is shouting. Nous crions. So we just have to remove ER. We are left with CRI. And to that CRI, we need to add ONS. And then vous criez. You shout or you are shouting. Il, elle crie. They shout or they are shouting. The second one is gagne. Gagne means to win or to gain. So it's very similar to the first one. We say je gagne. In the thieu form, we say thieu gagne. You gain or you, you win. You're winning. Il, elle gagne. In the new form, we say nous gagne. We win or we are winning. Vous gagne. You win or you are winning. And then in the ILS or ELLES form, we say il, el, gagne. Let's move ahead with the third one. The third one is amene to bring somebody or someone along. Um, although this Verb ends in ER, it is uh, slightly irregular. So we need to be uh, very careful while conjugating this verb. The conjugation goes like this. So for the verb amene, we write this letter E 
with a grab accent except for the no and the who forms in all the other forms we, we need to put a grab accent over the letter e the thu form is thu amen and then il el amen nu zamino for the nu form there's no grab accent required over the letter e in the wu form we say wu zamane and in the il or el plural form we say il zamen el zamen the he brings along uh, or he brings she brings so again we put the grab accent over the letter e the fourth one is anonce anonce is a cer verb so we've already learned that for cer verbs in the nu form we put the sedi accent under the letter c the conjugation goes like this janons i announce or i am announcing thu anons il l anons nu zanons so we announce or we are announcing so we put the sedi accent under the letter c Who zanons say? You announce or you are announcing. Il zanons, el zanons. They are announcing. Let's move ahead with the fifth one. Change. It's a G E R verb. We know that for G E R verbs in the new form, we write E O N S. So the conjugation goes like this: Je change, tu change. il or l change but in the new form we write c h a n g and then add e o n s nu change vu change il l change so this is how we conjugate all the g e r verbs in the new form we are supposed to remove e r and then add e o n s the sixth one they've given the verb pay pay is nothing but to pay it's a y e r verb so we know that for y e r verbs the letter y changes to i except no and the wo forms so the conjugation goes like this we say je pay tu pay the letter y changes to i and then we add e es etc so the il l form is il pay l pay and then the nu form is nu pay yo the letter y need not change to i same thing goes for the wu form also we say wu pay ye and then the il or l plural form is il pay l pay the seventh one Schwazir. Schwazir is to choose. It's a regular IR verb, so we need to remove IR, and then uh, so once we remove IR, we are left with C H O I S. To this, we need to add another I S. So thu C H O I S another I S. Thu Schwazi, je Schwazi, thu Schwazi, il l Schwazi. So in the il l forms we need to add i t in the nu form we need to add i s s o n s in the wu form we add i s s e z so nu schwazi so wu schwazi se in the i l s or e l l e s plural form we add i s s e n t il schwazis l schwazis the eighth one is Repondre. Repondre is nothing but to respond or to answer. It's an R E verb. The conjugation goes like this. We say je répond, tu répond, same as the je form, and then il or l répond without the s. Nous répondons, vous répondez, il, elle. Repond. So this is actually a regular R E verb. Certain R E verbs like repondre, défendre, attendre, etc. follow this pattern. We just have to remove uh, R E and then add S, S, 
uh, nothing needs to be added in the ELL form. For the new form, we add ONS, EZ for the WU form, and then ENT for the ILS and ELLES form. So we add all these letters after removing RE from the infinitive. The ninth one is Parthir. Parthir is an irregular IR verb. So we need to know or memorize the conjugation. It goes like this. We say je par. The thu form is also exactly the same. Thu par. Uh, in the il l form, the pronunciation is the same. We say il par or l par, but the spelling is p a r t. And then the nu form is nu par to vu par te. And the ILS or ELLES form is il parth, el parth. Let's move ahead with the 10th one. The 10th one is croar. Croar is nothing but to believe. This is also an irregular verb. So in the je form, we say je croar. Same thing goes for the thu form also. Thu croar. In the il and l forms, we say il croix, el croix. The spelling is C R O I T. So I or you believe, he or she believes. Then in the new form, we say nu croyon. The spelling is C R O Y O N S. In the vu form, we say vu croye. And then in the I L S or E L L E S form, we say il croix, el croix. They believe or they are believing. The 11th one is ekhir. Ekhir is an irregular verb because it, it ends in re also. So the conjugation goes like this. In the je form or the thu form, we say je kri, thu ekhri. I write, I am writing, you write, you are writing. In the il l forms, we say il ekhri, el ekhri. And then in the new form, the, the conjugation is E-C-R-I-V-O-N-S. Nu ze krivo. In the vu form, it is vu ze krive. In the ILS or ELLES plural form, it is il ze kriv, el ze kriv. So the conjugation is irregular. Let's move ahead with the 12th one. Fair. Fair is also an irregular verb. It means to do or to make. In the je thu forms, we say je fe, thu fe. In the il l forms, we say f a i t, il fe, el fe. In the nu form, we say nu faisons. Okay, the spelling is f a i s o n s. And the vu form is also different. We say f a i t e s. Okay, note that the Wu form conjugation ends in the letter ES and not EZ like how it is for the other uh, verbs. Alright, so Wu Feth is nothing but you do or you are doing and the ILS ELLES conjugation is FON. IL FON, EL FON. They do or they are doing. The thirteenth one is lear. Lear is nothing but to read. In the je thu forms, je, it is je li thu li. In the il l forms, it is li l i t il li l li. The word l i t uh, as a noun as, as a noun it means bed. For example, if you say on li. Or le li, it means a bed or the bed. It's a masculine singular noun. So we put un or le in front of it. All right. But when you see the word lit next to the subject pronouns il or l, it doesn't mean bed, it means reads. So he reads or she reads. And if you find the word lit usually after a uh, of, of an indefinite article or a definite article or a possessive adjective like M-O-N uh, L-I-T or T-O-N L-I-T or if you find the word L-I-T after a demonstrative adjective for example Sir Lee 
in all these situations the word li means bed so a bed the bed uh, my bed this or that bed all right so we will move ahead with the uh, new form so the new form is nu lison we read or we are reading vu lise and then il or l plural form is il lise let's move ahead with the 14th one on voye this is also a y e r verb so the conjugation goes like this we say jean vo the letter y changes to i q on vo il l on vo so i send i am sending you send you are sending he or she sends he or she is sending nous on voyons over here the letter y need not change to i for, for the nu and the vu forms so vu zon voye il zon vo el zon vo they send or they are sending over here the letter y changes to i again the 15th one is pouvoir pouvoir although it ends in ir it's an irregular ir verb it means uh, to be able to or can so the conjugation goes like this in the je form and the tu forms we say je peux tu peux in the il l forms also we say peux but the spelling is p e u t il peux l peux he or she can nous pouvons we can vous pouvez you can So P O U V E Z, and then il peut, elle peut, they can. The last one is promettre. Promettre is nothing but to promise. If you already know how to conjugate the verb mettre in the present tense, it's very easy to conjugate verbs like promettre or permettre, etc. because the the verb mettre is already there in promettre so the conjugation goes like this we say je promets in the tu form also we say tu promets i promise i'm promising or you you promise you're promising in the il l form we say il l promets same pronunciation but the spelling is uh, different in the nu form we say nu prometon vu promette il l promet thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe to my channel the french station to get notified on the upcoming videos like it and share it with your friends as well until then abianto see you soon